Well, as the White House moves to install an interim chief of the FBI, a bit of political theater unfolding here on the Hill, where Democrats all in their seats as Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell took the floor. He acknowledged them. Then he talked about health care before discussing the firing of the FBI director and the calls for an independent investigation now into Russia. Today, we'll no doubt hear calls for a new investigation, which could only serve to impede the current work being done to not only discover what the Russians may have done, <clears throat> also to let this body and the national security community develop countermeasures and warfighting doctrine to see that it doesn't occur again. This was the response of the Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer. Listen. If there was ever a time when circumstances warranted a special prosecutor, it is right now. Despite the fact that those were two very stark responses from the head of each party in the Senate, there appears to be some bipartisan blur on this issue. For instance, six Republican senators have been critical of the decision, or at least of the timing, to fire the FBI director when the president and when the Department of Justice did. Notably, Richard Burr, who chairs the Senate Intelligence Committee, said that he found it troubling the timing of the ousting of the FBI director. The question now is what this means for the confirmation of the new director of the FBI, whomever the White House decides to choose, because the Senate will have to confirm that individual. And then there's the question of how much distraction this will provide Congress with, how much time they will need to spend on this very issue, because at present, each chamber only has about a month in terms of legislative days between now and the August recess. We still haven't heard from many House members. The House is out of session this week. We haven't heard from Speaker Paul Ryan, who is making an appearance in Ohio this afternoon to tout tax reform. We are told that he is not expected to address the FBI director's firing at that event. But of course, Carl, that could change throughout the day. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.